Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1 is a commercial spaceport located close to Ahuriri Point at the southern tip of Mahia Peninsula, on the east coast of New Zealand's North Island. It is owned and operated by private spaceflight company Rocket Lab and will support launches of the company's Electron rocket for CubeSat nanosatellites. The facility officially opened on the 26th of September 2016 UTC. Topic: <laughs> Location The spaceport is located close to Ahuriri Point at the southern tip of New Zealand's Mahia Peninsula, in the Hawke's Bay region of the North Island's east coast. The site is a raised plateau surrounded on three sides by cliffs, and at an altitude of 104 metres The only road access is a single road leading north from the site. This crosses the isthmus connecting the peninsula with the rest of the North Island before connecting with SH2 at the settlement of Nuhaka. The nearest town, Wairoa, lies 50 kilometers (31 miles) to the northwest of the launch site around the curve of Hawk Bay. Topic: <laughs> Description Launch Complex 1 features a 50-ton, 49 long ton, 55 short ton launch platform and tower, a hangar for the electron rockets and storage tanks for liquid oxygen and kerosene. During the test phase of launch operations, which began in May 2017, the exclusion zone would likely be an 8 km 5 mile radius from the pad, and would reduce in size once the site became commercially operational. History Topic. Site options Rocket Lab announced on 1 July 2015 that it had selected Kaiterete Spit in New Zealand's South Island near Canterbury as the site of the launch facility for its Electron rocket, and that it hoped to have construction finished by the end of the year. While the site would not permit equatorial launches due to the presence of Banks Peninsula to the east, it was favorable for sun-synchronous orbital flights, which the company believed would be of primary interest to its customers. The site was also logistically favorable as the company wanted to build a rocket production facility in nearby Christchurch. The Mahia Peninsula site at Onanui Station was mentioned in August 2015 as a possible second launch facility. It had first been visited by company officials in April 2015 as part of their initial scouting for launch sites, and were preparing to submit a resource consent application. By mid-October, the application had been approved by the Wairoa District Council and Hawke's Bay Regional Council only seven days after its submission, with the Gisborne Chamber of Commerce and the Eastland Community Trust working with Rocket Lab to support its bid for the Mahia site. <laughs> Decision for Mahia On 23 November 2015, Rocket Lab stated that the Mahia Peninsula site would be the priority launch facility because of delays in obtaining resource consents for developing at Kaiterete Spit. While certain authorization had been obtained for Kaiterete, such as stormwater and air discharge permits from Environment Canterbury, a coastal permit for occupation of the area, and a Department of Conservation permit, the Christchurch City. City Council had not consented to the development due to an incomplete cultural impact assessment, resulting in no action under Sections 95 and 104 of the Resource Management Act 1991. 
The company said that efforts would continue to gain consent for a launch pad on Kaiterete Spit due to its logistical superiority and the foreseen need for additional facilities, but that the Mahia site offered superior launch corridor and flight rate opportunities because of its geographical location and relatively sparse air traffic. The Mahia site is licensed for a maximum launch rate of once every 72 hours over a period of 30 years. Rocket Lab believes the actual rate would average once per week. While the Kaiterete site would only have been licensed to launch once per month, the company broke ground at Mahia in December 2015, and by June 2016 most of the infrastructure work had been completed, including upgrades to roads and Internet services, and work was progressing on the electrical, mechanical and communications infrastructure. Rocket Lab signed an agreement with air traffic service provider Airways New Zealand in early September 2016 to develop special use airspace and ensure regular flight activity, which the company estimates could be up to 100 launches per year. The Mahia Peninsula site, named Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1, was officially opened on the 26th of September 2016 (UTC) in a ceremony presided over by Minister for Economic Development Stephen Joyce. It was attended by approximately 240 people, including company employees, local landowners, and Labour Party leader Andrew Little. <laughs> <laughs> Launch history Rocket Lab carried out the first test flight of its Electron rocket, named, It's a Test. On the 25th of May 2017 at 4:20 coordinated universal time, coming after 3 delays caused by bad weather during a launch window that extended from the 21st of May to the 1st of June. While liftoff from Launch Complex 1 was successful, the rocket failed to reach its intended 300 to 500 kilometers, 190 to 310 miles sun-synchronous orbit, only making it to about 250 kilometers, 155 miles. The second launch from the launch mount was made the 21st of January 2018 at 1:43 coordinated universal time, successfully made Making it to orbit. The Electron rocket, named Still Testing, carried a Dove Pioneer satellite for Planet Labs, two Lima 2 satellites for Spire Global and the Humanity Star. See also Rocket Lab Launch Complex 2, a launch complex currently being built by Rocket Lab. <laughs> Notes <laughs>